Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and we often get asked, how do I become a pilot? You see, it's really not as difficult as it may seem, but the stats are there to scare us away. In fact, 80% of students who start their training don't end up finishing. However, by finding this video, you're at a huge advantage here. Let's first start by learning the basic requirements. First, you must be at least 16 years of age to solo, 17 years of age on the day of your checkride. We'll talk about that checkride in a moment. You need the FAA minimum of 40 hours in an airplane, 20 of those hours need to be instruction time, and 10 of those hours need to be solo time. Now that is the FAA bare minimums. However, the stats they don't tell you is the national average is it takes the average student around 75 hours to complete their private pilot certificate. So the FAA may advertise a 40 hours is the minimum, but the national average is 75 hours. We're going to talk a lot about how to reduce that rate quite a bit. Next, you must take and pass the FAA knowledge test, sometimes called the written test. This is an ABC multiple choice test of 60 questions. You must earn a 70% or better, and you must be endorsed by an FAA certificated flight instructor to take that test. That's something we do for all of our online ground school members. I actually provide you with that endorsement to go take that test. One disadvantage I was at, I, I was doing all the flying, I had no clue there was even a written test, a knowledge test. I wasn't studying, I was just flying the airplane. But there's so much ground studying that needs to be done. Next, you must pass an FAA check ride. This is a flight with what's called a designated pilot examiner, someone designated by the FAA. You fly with that individual in the right seat and they ask you to demonstrate all your abilities, cross country flying, your maneuvers, your landings, your knowledge. There is a ground portion and there is a flight portion. During the ground portion, they're gonna quiz you for about an hour and a half, two hours. Then they'll take you up for a flight for again, about an hour and a half, two hours. It's a very long day. It can be a very challenging test here, but after that you are a certificated private pilot. How much should you expect to pay? Well, one thing people don't tell you is whether you fly in an old Cessna 150 or you fly in that beautiful brand new Cirrus, both fantastic aircraft, but very different price ranges on those aircraft. You'll end up with the same private pilot certificate at the end of the day. It doesn't say what kind of airplane you flew for your private pilot certificate. So keep that in mind. But national averages were seen spent around eight to $11,000 for a private pot certificate. A lot of that depends on what you fly and how often you fly. Now some ways to save money on this. The first and best way to save money is to learn everything you can on the ground. The airplane is a terrible classroom. Study and learn everything you can on the ground and then demonstrate it up in the air is the best way to truly accomplish that. The other thing is to fly more frequently. Studies have found that flying two to three times per week will drastically reduce how much money is spent. It'll be more money initially, uh, but if you're flying only once a month, once every two weeks, you're just gonna extend it out, and that principle of disuse sneaks in, you end up forgetting things. Did you know the national checkride pass average is just 77% percent. However, members of our online ground school, well, we have a pass your check ride or we'll pay for it guarantee. And we are proud to have a 99% pass average. Listen, if you're interested in getting started, I want to send you my latest book for free. We're actually revised book now, We're over 35,000 copies in print of the private pilot blueprint. Everything I wish someone would have told me before I started my flight training. How to save time and money in the process. Let me hold your hand. Let me show you the roadmap, the blueprint. Let me be your mentor in this journey to earning your private pilot certificate. Go to private 
autopilotblueprint.com. There's links below this video as well to get your free copy. All I ask is that you pay shipping. It's $6.95 for shipping in the United States and $12.95 for outside of the United States. And get your copy of the Private Pilot Blueprint. You won't be disappointed. It's your roadmap to save time and money in your private pilot certificate. I hope you love this video. I hope you'll check out the over 500 other videos we have here on our YouTube channel, on m0a.com, and on Facebook. Be sure to like this page, subscribe to this page as well well. Enjoy the rest of your day and most importantly remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day guys. We'll see you.